What is up YouTube? Hey guys, it's Rules for Rebels here and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make a super powerful landing page in less than 15 minutes. So um, we're going to be using Wix to do this. It's going to be completely free. You do not have to pay for a domain and you do not have to pay for hosting. Uh, though if you choose to, you can do a custom domain uh, and or if you uh, do hosting and pay for Wix you can get uh, the tab below your landing page that says this was created by Wix removed. Uh, but for landing pages, I really don't see any need for it. Anyhow, uh, I've never really been huge on landing pages in the past. I actually uh, stumbled upon uh, a Wix blog called Create a Powerful Free Landing Page in Under an Hour. Uh, and I had been looking at potentially using landing pages to do uh, product giveaways as opposed to relying strictly on... Uh, Review Kick and AMZ Trader and sites like that. So uh, without further ado, let me just show you my landing page right off the bat, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it. So uh, this is kind of when I created just sort of messing around. Um, as you can see, you know, we have different features here. We have the Shopify three-day challenge. Uh, if you guys watched my recent video, we talked about setting up a Shopify store uh, in less than three days. Uh, launch a money-making store in less than 72 hours. I got a little Shopify basket here. For those of you guys who haven't used Wix, Wix is literally like drag and drop. So uh, let me kind of show you guys some of this stuff. So if I want to edit this text, I just double click it. Um, you know, I can change the font if I want. I can drag uh, up and down to change the size. I think we were at 27, right? Um, this isn't intended to be like a full uh, tutorial. Um, I just wanted to kind of run you guys through how easy this is. Uh, if we want to change a text, we can do that. If we want to change the design, um, you know, we can change the type of button that we're using. Um, we can animate it, which means, you know, see a sample of it bouncing in, gliding in, expanding, turning in, flying in, um, you know, arcing in, puffing in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I forget how I had, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, but as you guys can see, I mean, any text, anything you can animate, if I want to add a text feature, let's say I wanted to add another video, uh, I would just go to video. I would literally just drag the YouTube icon in there. I mean, that's literally what I did here. I forget what was originally here, uh, but I literally just dragged the video over here. Uh, you put in the URL of the video that you wanted to go to. These are little features. I mean, if I wanted to, I could kind of drag this around. Uh, I can change a font. I can add font. Like I said, here's all the elements that you can add to a page. You can add buttons, which is how I added these buttons. Um, you can add shapes, you can add music, um, you know, you can have it set, you know, a lot of the times ClickBank landing pages, as soon as you go to the site, it automatically starts playing a video or starts playing some audio. You can do that. You can attach a store to your landing page. Um, there's a ton of stuff you can do here. This is just a really, really basic landing page. I didn't really add too many elements. I pretty much used what the template already had and just customized it for me. Um, so basically we'll talk about the reasons for landing pages and things like that in a minute, but, uh, so let's go back here. So I stumbled upon this article, how to create a landing page in less than an hour. Uh, if you go over here and click the word landing page, it'll actually take you to uh, sign into Wix if you already have an account or to create one, and you can create a landing page. I don't believe there's any limits on the amount of landing pages you can create. Um, and I just stumbled upon this blog post. I, I, I disagree with this. I think you can actually make a blog or make a landing page in probably less than 15 minutes. Uh, mine is kind of thrown together, but it literally only took me about 10 minutes to make. So uh, what are landing pages? Landing pages are sort of like a sales funnel. Uh, let's just say, for example, we're trying to sell a product or service. We may make a YouTube video in which we establish ourselves as an expert. You may want to do a free giveaway or something like that. Like, hey, if you want to get a free ebook on how to do such and such, uh, click the link below, and then the link below would take somebody to a landing page like this. And if you wanted to, you could have some kind of email opt-in. Uh, to where the person puts in their email and then you auto deliver them a book. Um, well, let's see what I saying. For those of you guys who want to see like some examples of landing pages, think about any ClickBank product. And uh, if you have an account to ClickBank, go to ClickBank, look through the marketplace, pick a particular product and click it and look at the landing page. A landing page is typically going to be like uh, video and text and it's typically going to be pretty brief um, to, to where it's basically supposed to be a you know, here's some bullet points on why you should sign up for this. You know, here's maybe a, a quick video. And, and you're basically priming the person to buy. Uh, so what are some reasons that people use landing pages uh, to prep somebody for a purchase? You know, you give them the sales points or the bullet points uh, all pretty concisely. 
Um, if you include a giveaway, there's kind of a reason to get somebody to buy from you or to sign up with you. Um, another reason for landing pages is to follow affiliate rules. So uh, just for example, uh, I'm a, uh, an affiliate for Shopify. So, you know, I can make YouTube videos and I can make blog posts uh, telling people, you know, you know, here's a method we're going to do to create a Shopify store. And anybody who follows my method and clicks my link, I'm going to get a commission on uh, their store should they sign up for one beyond the trial. Um, and as far as affiliate rules and things like that go, I, I'm perfectly fine, you know, putting a, uh, what, what's the word, a hyperlink into a blog post or, you know, running a banner on a website. But if you're actually going to be running paid traffic, like running Facebook ads or something like that, most affiliates have rules that you can't run uh, paid traffic directly to their site, which essentially your affiliate link is a direct link to them. So what they want you to do is if you're going to run paid traffic, they want you to run paid traffic to a site or a landing page that belongs to you, in this case, a landing page like this. And then when somebody clicks uh, the Shopify free trial, then they're taken to where they can sign up for a Shopify free trial. And that way, I'm not sending uh, paid traffic directly to this page. I'm sending paid traffic to this. And in this page, you know, some people may never click one of these links and may just close out the browser here. But, you know, as you can see from landing pages, typically people are going to throw buttons all over the place. Click here, click here, click here. Get this free. Sign up for this free. free. And then, you know, people are going to click one of these. And again, it's going to take them to the actual uh, affiliate landing page, in this case, Shopify. And they're going to sign up that way. So, uh, again, the reason somebody would do a landing page, you're kind of prepping somebody for a purchase. Uh, you're including a giveaway. Uh, you're following affiliate rules. And another thing people use landing pages for is to give away free products. I forget there was a YouTube video I watched a little while back where a guy's girlfriend had created a product, which was like a cat scratching post. And basically what they did, they created a, theirs was much more simple than this, but they basically created a uh, landing page uh, similar to this, but basically all it was was a picture of the cat scratch product. And right here was text saying like, would you like to get this product for free? And then they had, I think, a button that you clicked, and it would basically issue you a Amazon promo code, which I'm sure they had preloaded into an auto autoresponder. And then it would also take you to the product on Amazon. So you go to their landing page, you see they're giving away cat scratchers for a dollar. Uh, you click that you want one, you're instantly provided with a uh, Amazon promotion code that you know they obviously created probably 100 of them in advance to do a product giveaway. Uh, you're given your promo code and you're also redirected to the product on Amazon. Um, at that point, um, you know, you can buy the product. It's only going to cost you a dollar because they gave you the promotion code. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a sales funnel. Where they're priming you to, to buy that product. So uh, overall, really, I just wanted to maybe I'll do a more of a tutorial or a how to video on uh, how to create these Wix landing pages. But, you know, I've never been somebody who's really been into landing pages in the past. I've never done a whole lot of email marketing. And I think I was kind of intimidated by landing pages. I'm like, oh, you know, I hate WordPress. And, you know, if I had to do a landing page, I'm going to have to set up a WordPress. And, okay, now for every landing page I have, I'm going to go need to go buy a domain and hosting. And I'm going to have to pay, you know, five bucks a month for hosting, 10 bucks a month for hosting just for this landing page. And I'm not even really somebody who knows how to use landing pages. Is it worth it? But with this, like I said, I mean, is it the most professional? You got the Wix thing up here and the Wix banner down here. You can get rid of that by signing up. I mean, I really don't care if they're there or not. Um, but yeah, I was pretty impressed with a, how quickly and easily I was able to set up a landing page, uh, how easy the Wix software is for landing pages, all the tools that you're able to kind of, uh, implement into them. And yeah, just overall really, really kind of excited about this. So I think I'm going to be going, uh, landing page crazy, creating landing pages for like every product that I sell, uh, every affiliate, uh, program or system that I'm a member of, et cetera. So, uh, highly recommend that you guys check it out guys. Again, if you want, I will link you to, uh, this article where all you need to do is click this button and you will uh, uh, you know, basically be logged into your Wix store and you can start creating your own landing pages. But start playing around with this uh, yourself this weekend a little bit and uh, probably sometime early to mid next week I'll be making a more in-depth video where I give you guys an over the shoulder and actually watch me create some landing pages. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button just below. And... Uh, if you guys have any questions about landing pages or Wix or, or anything along uh, those lines, feel free to drop a comment below and I will address it. And if there's anything specific you guys want to see uh, when I do kind of the over-the-shoulder tutorial on how to make these landing pages, 
again, leave a comment and, uh, you know, I'll address your guys' questions there. So thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.